is it time to reconsider the way we classify you know, disease? So the background for why this is an important question today is that the power of DNA sequencing has made it possible to sequence the genomes of patients in you know, routine clinical practice for you know, currently the price of an of a, of a MRI scan or a CAT scan, but we anticipate within a couple of years it'll be the cost of a blood test. So this is happening. Um, and we know from the biomedical research community over the last couple of years that this information is very powerful. It can lead you to um, understand the cause of a certain kind of disease, uh, develop new treatments, and so forth. And the best example for perhaps is cancer, where there are a number of new drugs that have been developed just in the last 10 years based on this kind of uh, approach going on in little pockets here and there in the biomedical research community. So what this committee you know, concluded after a year of uh, discussions and del delibera deliberations is it is time to develop a new way of classifying disease using leveraging this DNA sequencing information. This, pro this classification is called taxonomy. Um, but it's not time to get rid of the old taxonomy right away. Um, what we are proposing is that we, uh, we marry uh, sec uh, collections of data that are going on in the biomedical research community with a uh, similar collection of clinical data that's going on um, in standard doctor's offices through uh, HMOs and insurance companies and so forth using um, this new uh, electronic medical record system that allows uh, information technology um, to quickly extract information about health uh, and link it with information about DNA and other uh, you know, more science parameters and make these associations. So, so the information commons um, is an amalgamation of all types of different uh, information. Uh, from the clinical record side, it would be, you know, what antibiotics have you received? Did you or did you not have pneumonia? Um, what is your family history? Uh, do you smoke? Sort of standard clinical information. Um, on the genomic side, it would be a strand of DNA sequence information. Um, but there are other um, uh, types of information that we think are, are very important in informing disease. Uh, we, we coined a term which is, has been coined by a larger community called the exposome. Uh, what's the exposome? That's meant to um, convey the notion that you know, there's environmental toxins out there that you may or may not know that you've been exposed to through occupation, um, smoking. Um, there's a social environment. You know, do you live in a poor uh, uh, inner city area, uh, a rural area, things like that. These are um, bits of information that may not immediately seem relevant to disease classification, but they certainly could be and have in some circumstances been shown to be. Other or more scientific uh, planes uh, of data, such as the, um, the summation of all the metabolites in the body. Um, these are just small molecules that can be measured using new mass spectrometry uh, tools. So each of these different planes are layers of data um, that can be um, interrogated for each patient uh, uh, in an integrated way. Um, an analogy that um, may sort of bring this point a little bit to home is Google Maps. So we all know of Google Maps as an icon on our, our iPhone that can tell you where you are and where you want to go. But behind that interface, which is one layer, are many other layers, including satellite GPS tracking systems, um, different forms of maps, uh, uh, topographical maps, et cetera, that all have to be integrated to answer that first question of where am I? In a similar way, a clinician or a patient might ask, a, 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 uh, where am I? And all of these bits of data could be integrated to come up with an answer.